you lead this because I have no idea what I'm doing. This is Celinda's corn macro, as you have seen from the Hamsterdam video. Hamsterdam video, yeah. And my cover of our cover of Adored by Him. Adored by Him. I'm just saying whatever you're, you're saying. You're just repeating everything <laughs> that I say. We share a dressing room, this dressing room, together in the Queen's Theatre because lovely Celinda is Fontine in Les Mis and I'm Eponine and we sit next to each other um, and we have many conversations in this dressing room about many many things like life and love boys boys many things <laughs> everything under the sun literally everything I don't think there's something that we haven't covered I think there's some stuff that we haven't covered yet I'll teach you Carrie wow okay um, <laughs> and, but one of the things that we covered was how we eat things in weird, specific ways. And we thought we'd share that with you today. Like, completely enjoy the thing that you're eating. You wanna make it last for as long as possible so you eat it like layer by layer or bit by bit. As you can tell, food is quite an important thing in our lives. It is, it really is. I really try to eat the right things, but then I look at this and I'm like, Hakuna she's, Matata. <laughs> she's really good because she comes in with like salads and avocado and eggs and then I come in with Tim Tams and Ferrero Rocher and just bags full of Jolly Ranches. But then she has the tiniest waist in the world. I have the smallest waist but the biggest ass. Yeah but that's good because you want some junk in the trunk. <laughs> oh. Kerry, what do you put in your mouth first when you eat this? The head. And why would you do that? To stop him suffering. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. You gotta stop him suffering. Because people go like, get their little legs off. You can't do that. You gotta go... Yeah, and now he's like, that was like a clean death. Felt bad. <laughs> this is how you kill a gingerbread man. Is he screaming in your mouth right now? I feel a little sick. I'm happy you have that same kind of fierce, you know, it's kind of like YOLO. It's a, it's, yeah, it's a fear and it's a kind of skill. What is it with you and YOLO at the moment? You keep saying that. I think I, I'm just getting into it. So when everyone was in it- You weren't quite there. I, were, I wasn't there and now I get it. So I constantly think that when I cross a road in London- You can't it, apply that to crossing a road in which you might get killed. But literally yesterday, I thought <laughs> it literally and I almost died. Oreos. Yeah, well, that was kind of broken. Always be suspicious of a broken biscuit. Yeah. The cream always splits on one side. Is it lucky if it's on one side or the other? You know how like if a bird poops on your left shoulder, that's lucky. Are you serious? Did you not know that? I had that once. We can make that. I mean, a lucky we both thing. got the right side. So let's make the right side the lucky thing. Okay. So it is. Yes, it is a lucky thing. It's lucky thing. if you split your Oreo and it's on the right side. Oh my god, I forgot how good it is. Tim Tams, bite off the diagonal corner. So you put one corner in the tea, you suck the tea up through the Tim Tam, and when the tea hits your lips, you flip it over into your mouth. Oh my god, it's so good. Next one is a story about Ferrero Rochers. It was Valentine's Day and I was going out with this boy a hundred years ago and um, he put like candles throughout the whole room. But like he had a really tiny room so I was like, wow, that's beautiful but it's very dangerous and very warm. He just had this massive like plate of like Ferrero Rochers. The song was playing, oh, thinking about our younger years. You know, the, yeah, a baby you're all that I want, we're in heaven. And then he was feeding me a Ferrero Rocher and then he said, and I literally had like a ball of chocolate on one side and I was like, what? <laughs> and he said it again. And I just always associate Ferrero Rochers with that. With that experience. With that experience. It doesn't like, it was funny. But it wasn't supposed to be funny and that's what's kind of sad about it. Kerry in the meanwhile was eating how you should be eating a Ferrero Rocher. Almost, what's that English word? Like when you, when you have a dead animal and you like open it up and you get and you gut it. The weirdest analogy you could have used for eating <laughs> Ferrero Rocher. You know when you gut an animal? Skittles. Skittles. I have a weird way of eating these. I was talking to me with my friend Anthony Brand. You get like a bunch of Skittles, just suck on them until they're, they like are squidging. So they lost all their colour. And then with the roof of your mouth, you push them all together. So you create one giant Skittle in your mouth. I'm really trying my very best to go as quick as I can. I mean, this is kind of gross, but I'm going to take it out and show you. So it's just one giant skittle. How did you do that? <laughs> the last oh, thing yeah. is the Twix. Right, the way that I eat a Twix is that you've got to determine where the caramel stops and the biscuit starts. Peel off the, the caramel. Of course. God, you're skilled. What is it? You okay? <laughs> but then you've got to peel off the chocolate off the sides and then do the ends next. And then you cheat the biscuit. Amazing. Like this, these are proper skills. I've spent my life working out yeah, the best it. way to eat everything. Yeah. We have these cookies in Holland called Liga Cooker. 
and we were supposed to keep one, but they're so good that we, we ate, them all. ate them all. They're basically square cookies, and in the middle they have these like um, uh, white, this like, white milky like, stuff. Yeah, it's like milk flavored, creamy, yeah, stuff. So, and I remember very vividly primary, primary school. school, and I remember that they all had those cookies and I didn't. And I was like, um, can I have a little bit of a yurlicha? And then they would give me the side without the white on it. And if they would give me a little bit of white, I could tell that they were my good friends. So I'm gonna ask you now, if you would have to break a piece off for me, you have this cookie. Yeah. Like really get into it. You have this cookie, this is your snack. Can I have a little bit of your cookie? This is a true friend because it's a proper Size. If you have a friend that gives you this, run away. Reevaluate that friendship. Sharing is caring. You know what I mean? Sharing food is sharing love. I think uh, I'm gonna throw up. I mean, I was really looking forward to this and I do love it, but I feel a little bit full. <clears throat> yeah, now I just, I don't eat anything ever. I love it. No, <laughs> <laughs> So let us know if you guys eat things in weird ways because we want to know like spaghetti like now we can move it into the dinners you do, know you, do I mean? you cut spaghetti or do you twizzle it twizzle it definitely see i cut it really yeah no i twizzle it on my spoon it takes too long oh, okay <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 